Hello guys, my name is Virender. Welcome to my channel. And today we are here to talk about GSI preliminary examination. Okay, so आज हमारा pre examination हुआ है तो सब बहुत excited होंगे results जाने के लिए और answers जाने के लिए. तो in this video I am going to talk about general section. Okay, so in this video I am going to take care of 50 questions. The first 50 questions I will be answering them, and in the upcoming video I will be answering next 50 questions. Okay, so those who has not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe my channel and without wasting your time, let's get to the solution part. So guys, this is our paper. This is from series A. So in test paper, we have four series, test booklet series A, B and C and this paper is from series A. So without wasting time, let's solve it. Okay, the first question here is deserts are locate, generally located at, simple answer is, about 30 degree latitudes. Okay, so this is your correct answer here. Now the second question, second question is which one of the following has the adaptation accolation? So when the word accolation comes, so answers clear ho jana chahiye ki bats, because bats echolocation use karke travel karte hain, pray bhi karte hain. Okay, now this question, third question, which one of the following is the most important stage in the process of ecological claim succession, sorry. So in this, the fifth stage is your most important and that is your settlement. Okay, so settlement is your correct answer to this question. Now in which, in which one of the following trophic structures of ecosystems, both fungi and bacteria occurs? Simple answer, decomposers, okay. Now let's come to the question number fifth. So fifth question, the uplift mechanism that takes place when light, warm, moist air masses rises after encountering a colder and denser air masses causes. So here the answer is frontal precipitation. Okay. So the course to the question number six, which one of the following managed ecosystem has the highest amount of standing crops? Now the standing crops, first of all, standing crops, what do you know? The standing crops, our happens is all the living activities, things. Okay. So most in sub main, the most living things, which will be found? Agricultural land, grazing land, human habitation, or forest land? So forest land. So forest land is your correct answer here. So come to question number seven. This is a very simple question. If you, if agar aap mein se kisi ne sirf uh, search bhi kiya hoga na Google pe ki humari modern history padni hai. The first topic which comes is this one. Okay, Bengal wala. So is ka answer hai Lord Curzon. So this is its answer. Now the third question, Neil Darpan. This is again a factual question. So its correct answer is Dina Bandhu Mitra. Now let's move to the question number nine. Which, who among the following revolutionaries founded the Hindustan Socialist Republican Army? Subse answer Chandra Shekhar Azad. Chandra Shekhar Azad has established this. Okay. Now, next question chronologically arrange the following events. So, this is a very Tricky question again. Okay. Because you have to arrange all the things that you have to arrange, you can arrange it. So, the correct answer is 1423. Okay. So, Alexander was first. That he came around in 326 BC. And then, Chandra Gupta Maurya in 325 BC. Then, Indo-Greek rule is around 180 BC. Okay. So, this question, consider the following scene. Ajanta painting. So Ajanta painting samari usi time ke baare mein batata hai. Piche ke time se Buddha ka dikata hai. Stories dikata hai. Jet ka se. But court life, possession, men and women at work. In ke baare mein baat nahi karta hai. So this ka correct answer hai. One only. Twelfth question. Which one of the following schematic graphs correctly represent qualitatively the variation of resistivity with respect to temperature? This ka answer hoga D part. This is the correct graph of this question. Okay, now here they have asked which one of the following semiconductors possess the highest value of band gap, e.g. So, if you have class 12th mein semiconductors, then you will know this. But in this part, we have noted in the paper, mein, humne paper mein ye note hai ki they have asked chemistry from class 11th and 12th more. Okay, so here there is silicon ka band gap hota hai around 1.1. 2 electron volt, germanium ka hota hai 7 electron volt and gallium and sunny ka hota hai 1.42 and lead zinc ka hota hai is somewhere around 0.41. So maximum is of germanium. So correct answer will be your germanium. Next, 
question a steel rod having radius r and length r l gets stretched along its length by del l when a force f is applied to it okay so simple scenario a steel rod hai okay if another rod of same material having radius 2r okay so radius ko humne double kar diya hai to yahan pe jo iski length ho jayegi new length wo ho jayegi hamari del l by 4 this is its correct answer okay so which one of the following quantities is dimensional and simple specific gravity yahan pe aapko kya karna you have to arrange all of them in the basis of their atomic radius we know that carbon aur boron boron carbon mein zyada electrons hote hain uska size chota hoga to ye hamara correct answer hai yahan pe the oxidation state and covalency of aluminum in alcl h2o5 2 plus iska answer this hai plus 2 and 1 okay now eighth question oh, what is the total number of orbitals associated with the principal quantum number 3 so three quantum number hai jaise isne isne paper mein bhi kiya hai s p d k mein s hota hai l mein sp hota hai m mein sp d hota hai to kitne hoge 1 2 3 4 5 so answer hai mera 6 now ye question the phenomena of radioactivity was first discovered by henry becquerel so henry becquerel ne discovery ki thi but madam curie ko nobel प्राइज मिला था दो बार ठीक है मैडम क्यूरी इज फेमस फॉर रेडियो एक्टिविटी बिकॉज शी हैज वॉन नोबल प्राइज ओके बट डिस्कवरी फर्स्ट वॉज डन बाई हेनरी बैक्रल ओके सो दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ कॉपर इसका करेक्ट आंसर है ये थ्री डी टेन फोर एस वन क्योंकि एटॉमिक नंबर ट्वेंटी वन होता है और कॉपर की हमारी दो ऑक्सीडेशन सेट है सी यू प्लस वन प्लस टू विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द शेप ऑफ द बी आर F5 square pyramidal. Now this question: Which of the following statements regarding the Panchayat system are correct? The Constitution of India emphasizes that three-tier system of Panchayat intermediate intermediate Panchayat stands between the village and district Panchayat in the state where the population is of 20 lakhs. Okay, so ये वाला 20 lakhs वाला तो system ही नहीं है. तो ये यहीं पे गलत हो जाता है. तो answer हमारा इसमें है one and three. C option is correct. Now come to question number twenty-three. यहाँ पे हमारा question है which one of the following is not a fundamental duty in enshrined in the Constitution of India? Okay. तो इसकी मेरा जो answer है to protect the national animal, animal and national bird. Okay. This is your correct answer here. A question number twenty-four. The president of India is elected by an electoral college in accordance with the system of proportional representation by means of single transferable vote. okay so this is correct again and second option the elected members of the legislative assembly assemblies of union territories of delhi and puducherry take part in the election of the president of india this is also correct so correct answer is both 1 and 2 now next question which one of the following is not an objective of one stop center so basically ye jo one stop center hai this is a uh, or scheme launched by government of india to prevent these kinds of issues like uh, acid attacks uh, gender based violence uh, violence uh, to support women but it, this is not going to help you with the credits okay so this is your correct answer here to provide cheaper credits to self help groups now the next question the movement of substance against a diffusion gradient with the use of energy is known as active transfer because whenever energy is used that is your active transport now which one of the following has non nucleic cells and maturity xylem fiber because their main purpose is to provide strength so they do not need nucleus okay so microscopic branch and thread like structures which can grow and absorb nutrition from organic matter are found in simple fungi now this question what is the number of chromosomes found in human somatic cells we know that in a human we are having 23 pairs okay so 23 pairs ka double ho jata hai 46 so 46 is your correct answer now which one of the following animals lay eggs to reproduce simple dolphin gives birth to young birds seal also give birth so they are mammals seal dolphin and whales are mammal but all platypus gives eggs it lays eggs okay now this there is a cotton so bt cotton is a genetically modified crop which is with a foreign gene from bacillus thuringiensis so this b sec b is your correct answer to 31 question now next question in the deep ponds and lakes which one of the following vertical zones receives least 
light penetration its answer is profundal zone okay now next question here we have is what is an ecological amplitude so its correct answer is your first set one the range of demands and consequent range of tolerance of species to the fluctuation in environmental condition this is its correct answer okay now let's come to the 34 question which one of the following organisms can live both in air and in water its answer is mesophyte. Okay, so agar aapko iska answer nahi bhi aata tha na, you guys can guess it because fight. So this is kind of a plant which can this kind of a plant which can survive on a very less amount of water also. So it can survive survive on air as well as in water also. So what is a duff? It is a partially decomposed litter. Which one of the following is a gravity transported soil? Its answer is colluvial. What is a pyrophilus organism? Okay, so basically pyrophilus is a fungi. So here in all options, there is one of the fungi. So this is the answer. Fungi growing in soils of burnt terrains. Okay, now this question. Which one among the following states of India experienced the highest fall in population growth rate during 2001-2011 in relation to the previous decade? So correct answer here is your Andhra Pradesh. Now let's move to the 39 question. 39 question have which one of the following statements about the ostrich family of languages spoken it is not correct. I have options nahi padha. Aapko sara direct answer bata raho. This is the correct answer. The Mundaba group of language is spoken only by the Mundaba tribes living in Chota Nagpur. 40. Which of the following statements about the farming in India are correct? Dry land farming is confined to the regions having annual rainfall less than 100 cm. No. Okay. Here, less than 500 mm. So, the answer is 2 only. Next. Which one of the following is a lagoon? Pulicat. Which one of the following is not observed by the stations operated by the Central Water Commission? Okay, so its answer is silt. In a beta decay, a nucleus spontaneously emits an electron accompanied by emission of antineutrino. So basically, neutrino ke baare pucha kya true nahi hai. Neutrino jab bhi alpha beta decay hoti hai, to neutrino is a small particle which gets emitted from the nucleus. Okay, so uska koi charge nahi hota hai. The third option diya gaya hai, they possess charge of magnitude equal to electric charge. So, this is my fault, because neutron, neutrino ka koi charge nahi hota. The agla question hai, the radius of first orbit of a hydrogen atom is this, then the radius of the second orbit of helium. So, here guys, first orbit ka radius diya gaya and they have specifically asked for second orbit. Do not get confused by He plus ion here, okay. It does not matter whether it is having one electron or two electron, but they are directly asking for second orbit. So, you have to calculate for second. So first ka 529 the just double it. So your answer is 1.058. Now, fifth question, which one of the following statements for the emission spectrum hydrogen is true? This is again from 11th, okay, 11th physics. So it's the correct answer here, Lyman and Paschen. No, ye nahi. Ye wala. D, the Lyman series lies in the ultraviolet and Paschen series lies in the infrared ray. Take it. This is so. Yeah, question. They can consider the following combination. Here, you see, one, two, two. They are parallel combinations. So they have solved one by r is equal to one by two plus one by two plus one by one. So it is zero point five. Then two plus zero point five plus one. Three point five is your correct answer. Forty four ionosphere. Which are the following zone atmosphere farthest from the surface? Which one of the following ecological adaptation is not dormancy? Dormancy. Cyclomorphism. Hibernation is also a state of dormancy. Estivation, diapause, they are dormancy. Next question, what are circadian rhythms? So basically these are circadian. Circadian rhythms are basically confined to 24 hour cycles. So a key option is here daily. Ki baat kare. And they are rhythms are respond in response to the light. So agar aapko answer nahi bhi aata, you guys can see they are giving two options of daily. So answer must be from A and D. Or to probability kam ho jati aapke liye choose karne ke liye. But this circadian rhythms are in response to the light. So answer is first one. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट इज बायो एनर्जेटिक अप्रोच इन मॉडर्न इकोलॉजी ओके तो इसका जो मेरा आंसर होगा दैट विल बी योर फर्स्ट ऑप्शन स्टडी ऑफ सिमिलैरिटीज एंड डिफरेंस इन फूड रिलेशनशिप्स अमंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड वेरियम्स फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी सपोर्टिंग देयर लाइफ ओके सो दीज आर गाइस आवर 50 क्वेश्चंस एंड देयर आंसर एंड दीज आर प्रोबेबल आंसर्स okay so guys if you have enjoyed my video and like the answer and if you like the content i'm sharing with you please subscribe my channel thank you guys best of luck for your mains examination now